Today we are starting a new series on this channel where we're gonna be tasting the weirdest, the wildest, the craziest foods across the United States. And we're starting with my hometown, Miami. Uh. Season two of the Traveling Clyde, ladies and gentlemen, begins right now. Welcome to Miami, Florida. We are here with the abundance of Caribbean and Cuban influence. We're gonna be tasting some of the wildest Miami-infused dishes that exist here and around the city. As well, we have my partner in crime for the episode. Season two, are you excited? Yeah, let's go. This is Rafael, my pal here from Miami, and today we're gonna to be trying together. One, a Cuban hamburger, also known as a fritas. And two, tostones tacos. These are tacos made out of plantains. Who's excited? Let's do it. So let's uh, explore Miami, eat some food. Let's hit it. Woo! It is blistering out there, it's so hot in Miami. Now we are going to head to our first location, which is going to be the Cuban hamburger. We are heading to a restaurant just south of Miami called El Mago de las Fritas, which is rated the best spot to get the Cuban hamburger, also known as the fritas. Let's head off. We're here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to El Mago de las Fritas here. This is as most local Miami cuisine you could possibly get. So first of all, I want to explain the significance of this dish, especially to someone like Rafael who's pretty much going in blind. This dish is a Cuban hamburger. Okay. The dish basically consists of a Cuban bread sandwich bun, a hamburger patty, okay, and then like a mishmash of mashed potato hash brown type fries inside of the burger. Okay. It makes it look a little extra super wild if you look at it from a picture. This is part of what is weird and wild about Miami is because you get these classic American foods with influences from Latin cuisine and kind of that Cuban touch and I think it'll be really, really, really tasty to taste. So what's so special about this restaurant? Well, El Mago de las Fritas is rated the number one place in all of Miami okay. to taste the Cuban hamburger. This is number one. They have the highest rated reviews and because of that, we thought it would be the best to partner up with them and work together on this video. So if you're in and around Miami, you gotta come and check them out. We're saying this before we even taste the food because they've been super friendly to us. And the next most exciting segment of the show. This is a brand new segment we're bringing to you guys on the Traveling Clot. This is called Patreon Thoughts. Rafael, do you know what Patreon Thoughts are? What is Patreon Thoughts, though? Patreon Thoughts is a segment of the show that you can actually be a part of if you join my Patreon family. Down below, there'll be a link in the description to join the Patreon family. It doesn't matter what tier you join in, you will have availability to join the Patreon Thoughts segment. And Patreon Thoughts are essentially, we are going to post the foods that we are going to taste pre-show so you guys can take a look at them and give us your thoughts. And with that, we're gonna jump right into some Patreon Thoughts from viewers like you. And our number one contender for the Patreon Thoughts is Lorelei, who comes in letting us know that she thinks the Cuban hamburger looks delightful, all shredded and yummy. Awesome. I think so as well. I, I'm, I'm getting some jittery hash brown feeling. And our next Patreon contributor is Gail Moody, who says, not sure what's on the shredded burger. Hmm. Well, it's potatoes, which is gonna be exciting. So I say let's jump into El Mago de las Fritas. Let's do it. And let's taste this delicious Cuban hamburger. Fritas. That is really cool. Hey, look how professional we are. We got camera one, camera two. Ready? We gotta look at camera one. Camera two, camera one, camera two, camera one, two. <laughs> and here we go, guys. Look at this thing. This is a Cuban hamburger. Okay, so this is going to be a new segment as well. This is going to be our pre bite thoughts. And we actually have a sponsor for today's episode of Pre Bite Thoughts. Who's our sponsor, Paul? Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Google Pixel. 
No way. Yeah, Google Pixel has actually decided to sponsor this episode of the video. So we're going to review this phone for you guys a little bit later in the episode. But just so you guys know, Google Pixel, pre-byte thoughts. Shout out, Google so Pixel. Our pre-byte thoughts. This is what we're going to do. We're going to okay. give you guys a little information about what we think, about how we feel, the area, the food, the smells, the texture. Everything before the actual bite. I gotta say, the bun looks super juicy. I have seen Cuban bread before, but never as a bun. Just the, the feeling is super awesome. There's like salsa music playing in the background. I love it. So what I think, as you guys can tell, there are little bits of, of potato chips, right? It seems like it's very like, as he said, juicy, but also very crunchy. So at the same time, so that looks really cool. Smells smell wise, it smells oh, really it smells good. Smells so dude. good. Oh, it smells really it good. It smells like fried, just goodness. It smells so delicious. So what does it contain, Tali? It contain beef. Yeah, we got onions, beef. I think there's some Tabasco baked right into the beef, right? Cooked right into the beef, and then we have these little hash brown string potato fried thingies that I'm not 100% sure what they are. And yeah, that's that's what makes it look absolutely delicious and I'm very excited to bite into me to too honest. I'm we're starving so we're going to dig into these hamburgers hey, cheers. cheers oh wow really good wow mm. Mm. it's one of those that makes me want to go in for a second bite oh. okay let's let's talk about this because this is very interesting and I want you guys to take a look at this badass cross section Look at that. Camera one, camera two. Look at this cross section. You can see everything kind of layers up really well. And that Cuban bread is just as delicious as I thought it was going to be. Am I right it's or really am I good. wrong? It's really, really it good. It is absolutely delicious. Important to mention, I'm eating a different hamburger than Rafael's eating. He actually has a spicy version of this with some other homemade spicy sauce that they make over here. I love spicy food. This is extremely spicy, but it's very, very good. It has also a, like a good flavor to it. And a lot of people that love spicy food, they know that it's not only about the amount of spiciness, but also about the flavor of the actual spice. I'm enjoying this. Okay, I have to mid-meal stop and take a picture with the Pixel real quick, because this thing has a crazy camera, and I think capturing this level of detail for the cross section is gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, this is for foodies right here. You can see all the details. Mm. That looks delicious. Wow, dude. That's a crazy camera. Yeah. I gotta tell you guys, I'm getting kind of sad, because the end of this burger journey is coming to a close. Yeah. I think one really cool thing about the fritas is that we should mention it does look really wild and crazy when you look at it from a picture, but when you eat it, there's nothing too crazy about it. It's just the flavors blend really, really well together. These things are grilled to perfection, cooked to perfection, and you can taste the Cuban love and culture right when you bite into the sandwich. So, texture wise, it wasn't as crispy as I thought it would because of the potatoes. But it just blended in. You know, the potatoes has a little bit of flavor to them, which add on to that burger. The meat is very good, very juicy. The bun itself is is very, very good. I don't know if it's made over here, but everything was really, really good. If you love hot sauce, definitely use the hot sauce. It's amazing, makes it even better. We should talk about price next. And good. this thing clocks in at about $4. That's nothing. And if you guys want to put an wow. egg on it, you can put an egg on top or some other extras like chicharron or chorizo, I think, that you can put on top as well. I think with that being said, we are going to say goodbye to El Mago de las Fritas. Grab our Google Pixel. And head to the next place. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. We just finished one of the most delicious food journeys I think I've ever experienced here in Miami. That was incredible. El Mago de las Fritas. That might be kind of the more Americanized way of saying it. Just as a heads up so there's no confusion. But we are now going to bounce to kind of our next activity of the day. But before we do, it's time to talk about our sponsor, the Google Pixel. But let's jump off of this uh, crazy loud street and head over somewhere else. Pixel. 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 Ah. Ah. Pixel. Ah. <laughs> so
also a sponsored part of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, we need sponsors to stay alive and that's just how this works. But first, I wanna let you guys know that every Traveling Cloud episode is sponsored by our amazing patrons from Patreon. God, I need to breathe. <laughs> You're so sweaty. Jeez. Yes. Even though Google has sponsored this episode of their awesome phone, we do want to let you guys know that if you want to become an official sponsor of this series of The Traveling Clat, you can check us out on patreon.com slash The Traveling Clat. You can get discounts on Traveling Clat merch, be a part of a closed Facebook group so you can speak to me directly, and even have the opportunity to have a Skype call with me. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure you check out Patreon. But before you check out Patreon, check out today's sponsor, the Google Pixel phone. This is the extra large version, and I've been using this phone for the last two weeks, as you can see with this beautiful overlaid footage of me unboxing this phone. It comes nicely packed up with all these cool wires and cables and dongles and everything you possibly need. I've been using it to game because it has a super fast processor and an amazing giant screen and a huge speaker that I can use to listen to all these awesome videos and, and movies and music. If there's a phone to Netflix and chill with, it's this phone. And Google wanted me to let you guys know that I can use the hashtag Team Pixel now so you can find out all my content when I'm using this Pixel phone. So make sure you check that hashtag yeah, down below in the rash ointment uh, got into the mail, so it's at your house. Here, take that. I don't shoot. Mom? No, no, the rash is gone, I swear. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Patreon, Google Pixel phone. Check them both out in the description, and let's jump to our next activity. Let's go. So pretty much where we're heading off to next is called the Crazy Tostón. A tostón is kind of like a Cuban, Spanish, Latino pancake made out of plantains. But anyways, Wait. I... Por favor, hold, hold on. Yo, amigos, trae that way. This way? Yeah. Okay, we're getting real Cuban with you, huh? Rafael, listen, we're gonna totally rip off BuzzFeed style. Okay. And uh, we're gonna like, we're gonna do this little bit where we talk in the car, okay? Rafael, did you know yeah. that Miami I did not. has the highest population of Cuban immigrants in the world? More than Cuba? Uh, Rafael, question. Yeah. Do you know how to say hello in Spanish? Hola. Do you know how to say how to say in Spanish? Help me. So if there's something you don't know how to say, yeah. you can say, Como se dice en español? Got it? So I want you to ask me, Okay. how do you say... What the f*** is happening with your GPS? Why say, does it think we're over there? Say, como se dice hamburger en español? You have to make it the next exit. Sure. Como, como se dice, como se okay. dice last time, last time. hamburger <laughs> español? <laughs> como se dice hamburger en español? En español, hamburguesa. En español, hamburguesa. That's how you say hamburger in Spanish. Help me. <laughs> I don't speak. This way, this way. Which way? Left this way. This way. way. <laughs> <laughs> in Spanish, izquierda o derecha. He did not do me. I like my. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are here just south of Miami in an area called Kendall. This is the crazy tostón. We are trying one of Miami's wildest creations, which is turning a taco into a plantain sandwich. A taco plantain, a tostón taco. You can see it all over here. They make tacotons and megatons. These are like tacos with a plantain outside casing and it's going to be absolutely delicious. I'm very excited. Rafael behind the camera, are you excited? I'm excited. Why? The owner of this establishment has also decided to be a sponsor of this episode, so make sure that you check out the Crazy Tostón down in the description below. If you're visiting here in Miami, or if you live here, you gotta check them out, because this is Miami's wildest creation alongside the Cuban hamburger. So I say let's head in and taste some delicious Crazy Tostones. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's time for everyone's favorite segment, sponsored by Patreon and my patrons, our Patreon thoughts. Let's do it. So, we got two delicious comments about the crazy taco tostones, and this is what they say. Lorelai says, she only likes plantains if they're burned, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not sure if these are gonna be burned, I think they're more gonna be like a taco shell, but yeah. I think it'll still be good. And the next one by Gail Moody, she says, the tacos look great, 
Maybe some crema sauce needed. I don't know what crema sauce is. We're about to ask. But uh, we'll see what happens. Let's do it. And that's the end of the second segment of Patreon Thoughts for this video. You know how to join the Patreon already. Just check the link down in the description below. Now, Rafael, do you have any anticipation thoughts before going in? What's that? That looks good. This is the Megathon. Okay, so we're gonna have that. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, and the... Takathon. Okay, we're gonna have that as well. They both look amazing, and I can't wait to actually try both of them. So let's do it. I don't know if there's much more to say, so let's head on in and try some of Miami's wildest, craziest, delicious food. All right, so we're getting an inside look about how this is prepared right now in the kitchen. I want to show you guys what the craziness is behind the crazy stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, look, this wow. isn't, we have so much food, we've had to take control of an entire table, <laughs> and this isn't even going to be the camera angle, wow. because we can't fit it all in the frame. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. So Great. we're going to readjust the camera for you guys, and we're going to do a serious taste test. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally begin. Let's do it. I don't know, are you prepared for this thing? I don't think so. It, it looks amazing. It's going to be intense. We are going to hit you guys with our pre-bite thoughts now, sponsored by the Google Pixel, which you remember we mentioned earlier today. Thank you, Google. Let's get right into it. What is your uh, pre-bite thought about well, these megathons? First of all, they look really, really pretty. So that's, you know, that's awesome. I don't know. I've never, again, like, I'm here, and Tal brought me into all of this. I've never had any of those, and I have no idea what to expect you. So, do you have any thoughts? I have dabbled in the plantain universe when I've traveled through Cuba and Mexico and okay. some of Latin America. Yep. Plantains are hands down one of my favorite foods and they're so dynamic. And what we were explained is that the megatons are more of like a salty plantain and the tacotons are more of like a sweeter plantain. Okay. And so we can expect a little more savoriness out of this and a little more sweeter out of the mini tacos. Cool. So the brisket, we'll start off with the brisket. So the sauces on top of it are cilantro and guajiro. So let's start off with this one yep. and let's go right ahead. Let's do it. Dude. Do we cut this? Do we? I don't know. What's the right way, the right way of eating? Honestly, it? I think we're gonna be a mess after we eat this anyway. So I'm not sure Probably. if there's even a right way to eat it. Okay. So let's just. Okay. Go ahead. Let's freestyle let's it. Let's do it. Okay. Megaton number one. We got brisket. Good luck. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is really good. There are so many flavors going on in my mouth no. right now. They're sweet. They're salty. They're savory. They're beefy. Well. I've had brisket before. This is really, really good. It's seasoned well. The actual plantain kind of tastes like a, like some sort of a potato in a sense, right? Me and Rafael are huge into sauces. Mm. And so for us having a lot of sauce, this thing is battered in sauce. It is great. Now we're going to jump into the fish one. Now I see that there are coleslaw on top. And again, the same sauce that this one had, the cilantro one. All right. All right. Ready? Fish megaton. Let's do Let's it. Do it. Wow, this is really good. Wow. I might like this one more than the brisket. Me too. This one's light and fluffy and the fish is delicious. Yeah, it's really good. It's like a hint of fish, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not like, it's not strong. It's not overpowering the whole flavor. So that's really good. Once again, this one specifically really throws me back to more of like flavors of the Caribbean and Latin America. Really that delicious kind of fried fish with the sauces and the coleslaw and the veggies and the plantains. Mm -hmm. This one works really, really well. Oh God, me and Rafael are very excited for this next part. Yeah. We got chicken tacos mm -hmm. and the employee that works here has just recommended this to us. He said this was his favorite one. These are the chicken tacotons. And so this, once again, like I mentioned earlier, are made with a sweeter kind of tortilla-like plantain. They got, what kind of sauce they got on top? So. This one, I believe, is the chipotle sauce, and I think it comes with uh, avocado on top. And once again, right before we bite in, okay. camera one, camera two, and let's go. Mm. 
Mmm. Wow. Oh my god. This is like this is like shredded chicken. Oh. It's kind of like a chicken salad in a taco. Yeah. Very good. Very good. This is actually one of the tastiest things I think I, I can I've eaten in the last six, seven months. The wow. flavor of this. It's just the right amount of sweet. It's not over the top, because plantain no. sometimes can be really sweet. This is like a perfect amount of sweetness. And the way it goes with the chicken salad and with the avocado, oh. I'm gonna cross section, ladies and gentlemen. Camera two, how you doing over there? Camera one. Brisket. Brisket. Because that's what's coming that's up right. next. We got the brisket taco ton. Now listen, the megaton with brisket was delicious to begin with. It was really good. But this is the taco ton, and it is Packed with the brisket. I mean, this thing is like it's filled to the brim. It's over capacity. Yeah, like it's about to explode. And again, it has um on this one again it has the cilantro and the garlic sauce as well. So you put a little bit more garlic sauce. Yeah, dude, garlic yourself up. I'll garlic myself down. Hey, ca camera. Which camera is that? Camera three. That's right. We got camera one. Camera three. All right, here we go. Ready? Brisket taco ton. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh my god. Yeah. They keep getting better. <laughs> this is so good. You'd think you'd peak somewhere, but this, it keeps getting better. The sweetness and the saltiness of the brisket. Yeah, absolutely incredible. That is really delicious. All the sauces, they blend in so well over here. Tell me that doesn't look super delicious to you. Wow. This is bad. I'm getting cold, but this is so good. You gotta, you gotta clean. I know. <laughs> I know, I'm destroyed right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Camera 12. Jeez. <laughs> Dude, wow. <laughs> this, is, this is... This is so much food. What you got over there? I feel like I just ran a marathon, but actually <laughs> I gained like 10 pounds. <laughs> we had so much food left over, we couldn't actually eat it. We gotta take these... And these are filled to the brim. <laughs> They're absolutely filled. All right, let's... Leave the crazy toast on. This place was amazing. Let's head on over to my car, give you guys our final wrap up thoughts, and end episode one a season two, ladies and gentlemen. Uno, dos, tres, hamburguesa. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. It was a lot of food. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I ate too much. We ate, we adventured, we enjoyed, we explored Miami. Miami! We want to make sure that we tell you guys which one did we like more. Okay. Let's choose. So Between the Cuban hamburger and the crazy plantain tacos, mm -hmm. what was our favorite meal of the day? Well, to be fair, I am more of a burger type of person. So I will have to go with the burger, the chicken taquitos. What was it? Tacoton. The chicken tacoton came very, very close as the second one. Both of the restaurants, super nice, super friendly, but I will have to go with the burger. What about you, buddy? For me, I, I don't want to touch on it too much. I'm going to agree with all your same thoughts. Restaurants were awesome. Everybody was friendly. I think my favorite, favorite, favorite has to be that chicken taco ton, just like you said. Yeah. But that's my favorite over the burger, just because I love that sweet. I'm a super sweet tooth heavy person. I love sugar. And for me, that was like the perfect blend of sweet and savory and fried and delicious. Listen guys, I tried to bring you guys something new here. I tried something new. Whether I failed or succeeded, I hope you guys enjoyed every minute. We wanna say thank you so much to Google Pixel, first and foremost, my amazing Patreon patrons that are helping out sponsoring these episodes, and the Crazy Tostón, and El Mago de las Fritas. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you check out all our amazing sponsors down in the description below. Also, make sure that you guys check out Rafael. His stuff will be linked down in the description below. Make sure you guys give him a follow. I want you guys to make sure that when you leave this video, you leave us a super duper taco taston megaton size thumbs up. Megaton size. Megaton. Megaton size. You subscribe with those notifications turned on. If you're new here, you make sure you comment down below a dish that you think is crazy that you'd like for us to taste in the future. And if you're new here and you want to check out my Patreon, you can do that down below in the description by joining our Patreon family. And make sure that you follow me on social media so you can connect with me on a new, deeper, more intimate way. And we're gonna see you guys next time. I love you a long time. Goodbye, class. Slap him out. You didn't slap him out. You didn't slap him out.